All right, this is grade two, module one, lesson six. And in this lesson, we're going to be su subtracting single digit numbers from multiples of 10. And what that means is we're going to be learning a little bit of a trick for subtracting problems that look like this. So let's get working on that. So the idea is we're not at this point teaching a standard algorithm. We're teaching some number sense. We're teaching students how to get the, the answer mentally which naturally involves number sense. Uh, we are not teaching the standard algorithm yet. Uh, our little sec second graders most definitely will be learning the standard algorithm, but not in this lesson. So the idea is um, with taking 10, you take your multiple of 10 and you, f you use a decomposition. You decompose it so that you have a 10. And coincidentally, we have two 10s here because it was 20. But then and I'm going to make this explicit here, then you subtract the 10 minus the 9 in this case. 10 minus 9 is 1. So now you have 10 and 1 remaining, so your answer is 11. So let's take a look at how that works over here for 30 minus 9. So we're going to decompose 30 so that we have a 10, and that's the whole point of this. So that means we're going to have 20 and 10, and so, teachers and parents, you might need to explain, make sure students understand that 20 plus 10 is 30. So really all we did was we took 30 and broke it up into two parts, 20 and 10. And the purpose of that is 10 minus 9 is really easy for us to do. So 10 minus 9 is 1. So now we have 20 plus 1, and this is equal to 21. Now, parents, teachers, you might be wondering, well, why are we going through all the hassle of teaching our students this, this little trick when just doing it the normal way seems much faster? Yeah, kind of, that's true with second grade, but we're, we're laying the bedrock, the foundation of using this kind of strategy so that students can continue using this strat strategy as we move on to decimals, and fractions where this strategy really will make life easy for our kiddos. So uh, this strategy is uh, an important strategy to teach at this moment, even though later in second grade we are going to teach that standard algorithm. So let's keep going. So here we got a couple of problems just to practice. So 80, I'm going to decompose it so that I have a 10, which means it's going to be 70 plus 10. And now we could do 10 minus 6, because subtracting within 10, we really want to be second nature for our second graders. So 10 minus 6 is 4. So now we have 70 plus 4 gives us 74. And one last example here. We're going to decompose 90 so that we have a 10. So that means we're going to have 80 and 10. So 10 minus 5 is 5. So now we have 80 plus 5 gives us 85. And the last slide for this video is we want to give our students the opportunity to explain how 10 minus 4 helps us solve 30 minus 4. So why did we bother learning this in first grade uh, so that it helps us in second grade? So how, how are those two connected? And so parents and teachers, just let your students talk through it. If they want to draw some examples, they're certainly welcome to do some examples. For example, we know that one example might be one, one way a kid might explain this as well. 10 minus 4 is 6. And over here, for 30 minus 4, through de decomposition, we have a 10 minus 4 right here. So this 10 minus 4 equaling 6 helps us over here. So now we have 20 plus 6 equals 26. So that might be one way a second grader uh, explains that. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 6, using a cute little strategy for subtraction.